So when I was in high school, I actually did a program for gifted and talented students where I went to a biotechnology camp, basically, at a local college. And the professor that ran it was a genetics professor at this college. I came back to my junior year of high school after that camp and talked to my biology teacher about genetics and he brought up genetic counseling to me. And then I ended up studying molecular genetics in college and really sticking with it. I think I was drawn to science to begin with because it was always something that was interesting to me. It seemed like it was constantly evolving. It would never have me bored. And it's something that allows me to follow a passion of helping people, but through something that I am really interested in, which is genetics. So I remember the first patient I ever had that tested positive for a hereditary cancer syndrome. She had a BRCA2 mutation and just seeing the impact that finding out that information had on her lifestyle and the way she approached her life and handled life with her children and her family was really just amazing to see. And being able to have that experience pretty early on in my career and kind of weave that into my interaction with other patients and now on a larger scale with my interaction with other scientists and people in the field has been really important. I think why I switched from being in clinic to being at Ambry and coming to Ambry specifically is because I wanted to be able to help patients like the one I was just talking about on a larger scale. And you know, being in clinic, you can only see so many patients a day or a week or a month or even in a year. But working at Ambry, being at a place where the goal and what drives everyone is really understanding human disease and being able to find answers for patients like those that I was seeing in clinic, to be able to help with that on a larger scale is really what I wanted to do. And I knew that Ambry was the place I could do that at.